Good to see you again. Good to see you, sir. Dude. I know, uh, it's been 18 months? Uh, yeah. Something yeah, like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, but here we are talking about this fantastic franchise. All right, so the first one is such a huge success. Yes. There's part two. You find out there's going to be another one. Tell me what your thoughts are. One, of course, massively excited. This role has kind of has been the role that's made my name. Um, and the film was this kind of crazy sleeper hit. I sort of always knew it had something quite special about it, but I didn't think it was going to become this kind of really recognizable global brand. People all over the world talk about Kingsman. It's very, very exciting. So to come back and do another one is one, very exciting, but two, also quite daunting. Yeah. Because there's such a high level of expectation. Um, but obviously Matthew has directed this. It's the first time he's directed a sequel. And he's, he's brought the noise. What about that opening scene? Because Dude. seriously, we saw this last night. Yeah. And the, the, for everybody after the opening scene was like, just like everybody in the theater, this is these are press people. I heard there people. was a round of applause. The, the press people. Press people. And sometimes you know they're like, man, do this. Not me. I love everything. Great. But everybody was like, wow. Yeah. Tell me what it was like to film that opening sequence. Yeah. How long did you? Did it weeks take? and weeks and weeks. Yeah. But, but lots of hard work. But really fun too. Ed, who plays Charlie, is a really good friend of mine, and we really enjoy. It. We hang out as, outside of the Kingsman movies. So. Um, it was very fun to do that together. We were both very committed to making it look great and all of the stunt people who worked on it, Brad Allen, Matthew, you know, a lot of hard work went into making that and a lot of money, I think, went into making it what it is, which is an incredible gut-busting adrenaline hit of an opening sequence. It's got everything. Action, car chasing, fighting, underwater, guns, bad guys, robotic arms, what more do you want? That's exactly what it has. All right, let's talk about your co-stars, working with this cast. I mean, yeah. these are you, all of you all are just incredible actors. Yeah. And what's it like to go to work every day and see, you know, Colin Firth, first of all. I mean, somebody like that. Well, C Colin, Colin, I think now, Colin, I, I'm, I'm sort of acclimated to Colin. Do you okay. know what I mean? No, I, I know so, what you mean. I'm used to him. Um, uh, no, I mean, the likes of Jeff Bridges and Julianne yeah. Moore and Elton John, Channing Tatum and Halle Berry and Pedro Pascal as well, you know? I mean, all of these incredible, incredible actors um, all doing, you know, really fun, wacky parts, things that are quite unusual. You, um, you mentioned wacky. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I've got to bring this up. Elton John. I know. And I didn't... Sir Elton. <laughs> Sir Elton. What is it like to work with somebody like that? Great fun. He was a great spirit. He, uh said he had so much fun. He's only he, he's actually only ever done Kingsman and Tommy. They're the only two movies he's done where he did Pinball, Pinball Wizards. You know, the Who movie? Right, absolutely. Yeah. Um, he had a great time, he was a great sport. Tragically, I didn't really get any screen time with Elton. That right. was uh, all Colin and Julianne. But um, I did hang out with him a little bit and I've gotten to know him a little bit since. Which is good because there's some breaking news that I read about and you're gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> very excited about that. I'm very excited too. Very, very excited indeed. All right, so we get a part three? I really hope so. I I mean, it would. It doesn't feel like the time to call it a day, does it? No. No, I think, we'd, I think there's life in Kingsman yet. So that's why you love this character so much. Yeah, he's a great character. He's, he's flawed, he doesn't always get it right, but he's very honorable, he's a bit of a badass. I think in the third movie, I think, I think, I know, I think Eggsy could, could step it up again. I think Eggsy could go for I want to see Eggsy. I want to see Eggsy's church scene from the first movie moment. <laughs> I love it. Dude, you're so, amazing, man. You too. It's great to see you.